Hey everybody, welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. This is episode 162. I am Adam, and today we're going to be changing things up slightly. I'm actually doing a three-part series on um, no module in particular, but a little bit of a couple modules and some JavaScript and some CSS, so you can get a little bit of everything. But the end goal at the end of the three uh, videos will be to display something similar to this. Um, the ability to easily switch between the same view but change the layout based on if you want like a grid or a table listing of the view. So you'll be able to see how I build the view, how I style the view, and how I use um, J or jQuery to switch between different modes um, and add classes to the CSS to change the look and feel. So in this video we're actually going to just build the view, um, the content type view, kind of all the framework back end. And then the next video we will uh, do the um, jQuery, and then the last one we'll style it up and make it look really nice. Um, quickly before we get started, uh, make sure to head over to CodeKarate.com and sign up for the newsletter, and also check out the ebook um, recently released. Um, and you can also follow uh, myself at Adam Laring on Twitter or Shane at SMThomas3. Appreciate that. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing to build the functionality, again, if we look back here, um, we're looking at, uh, these are courses, um, but we're gonna just make a new content type. Uh, we're gonna call it uh, players, football players, since it is the football season. So if I go into my content types, I've actually already made my content type football players. And if we look at the fields, I've added a few fields as well. Um, the title or the name, bio, picture, weight, and height. So these are the fields we're going to use in the displays, and then we'll change how they lay out based on um, if we want it in a grid or a table. So once the content type is created, and again, obviously, you can customize this um, with the fields you want. Um, next thing to do is create the view that's going to house all the fields. So actually, the first thing we'll do, i got to have myself, is let's create some content so we have something to show in the view. So we're going to add content. We're going to add a football player. I myself am a 49er fan, so I'm going to add some 49ers here. Uh, let's see here. Let's add some junk text. Upload a picture of this. It's actually just going to be a picture of me for the sake of time. Um, weight in pounds. I actually don't know what he was. But... Six foot. All right, so we're going ahead and just save that so we have that as a option. So you see, we've created a football player, Jerry Rice, and done that. And let's upload. Let's create one more. So we have two different football players. Okay, so now we have two different um, players created, Steve Young and Jerry Rice. So from there, now we have some content that we can build a view and display this in the view. So obviously to create a view, we just go to structure and we go to views and then let's add a new view. Let's call this players. We want to, we're going to create this as a block and we'll drop it on the page. So, um, some other settings here. We'll obviously, for this, it's very important when we get to styling that you want it to be set as an unformatted list. Um, that's the easiest way to do what we desired. Um, items on pager, let's set that to zero so it's unlimited. And then let's keep going. All right, so here we go. Here we're gonna build our view. First thing, let's get all our fields added that we want. So here's our football player. Let's get the weight, picture, height, and body. See, title is default. And then we can configure these fields. Um, for all these fields, we're actually gonna rewrite the output of the view. So we wanna exclude all of them from display. 
So we'll make sure you check the exclude from display on all of these. Okay, so now you'll see that we need to filter by our content type, which is select content type and we'll select football players. So it is one of football players. And then you'll see here our view is starting to come together. We see Steve Young and Jerry Rice. And the reason we don't see anything else is because we excluded those from the view, which I forgot to do on the title, so I'm going to do that real quick. So exclude that from display as well. So now we see nothing because all our fields are excluded. But hopefully you're probably familiar with, if not, you. this is a really um, pro tip with you using views is you can rewrite output of the views using um, a custom text field and you can customize the HTML uh, within that. So we want to jump, drop, drop the label, but inside this text field you'll see we can use this thing called replacement patterns. And here are all the fields that I've added to the view. So I can simply uh, paste in all of the replacement patterns here and then those the will display in the view and I can customize the HTML around it which is what ultimately we're going to do here. So just I can get all these in first and we'll move them around. So just to show you how it's working here, if I just save this right or apply this right now, you'll see here's my view and now it starts to display things as I printed them, right? So the name, the body field, the picture, um, the excuse me, the height, the picture, and then the weight. So it matches up with how I have it in my custom text field. It's important to note that any fields that you want to use as replacement patterns have to be sitting above the custom text field. So if I would have happened to have weight sitting below the custom text, I wouldn't be able to reference that field. So it's important to have them all above that to use them. But um, obviously we want some HTML wrapped around here because it's pretty unusable. Without that, it just doesn't give you anything to style off of or um, use jQuery with. So what we're going to do is we're just going to wrap this in a, a wrapper. We're going to call it wrapper. And then we'll close that off. And then on each of these, it's kind of up to you how you want to style them. Um, I kind of like to use heading tags if possible. So I'll wrap my title in an H2. The body will be wrapped in a paragraph. Uh, and I'm going to wrap my heights and widths all in just divs with the classes representing their fields. And this might change a little bit once we get to styling, but we can easily drop, drop back in the view and um, change those. But for now, since I don't necessarily know exactly how I want it to look, I'm just going to give it some generic classes so we can um, get to the point of styling it. And then one more here. All right, so as you can see right now, so we've built a just really simple div structure here. Um, a div wrapper with an h2 p tag and a couple other divs within it. So if we apply that to the display, you'll see that not a ton has changed here. It's still going to look relatively the same. But if we go to, uh, let's save that actually. I should only make sure to save. Okay, so now we have, let's actually give us a name. I'm, Okay, so now we can get, let's just get to the end of seeing the view in action here. So let's add the view to a page, which is where we'll end up having all of it. So if we go to content, we're gonna add just a page to show this view on. Oops, wrong one. Basic page. All right, so let's save that real quick. So we have a path of node 24. Oops. 
All right, so if we go to structure, we want to go to blocks, because remember we made our view as a block. But we'll see football players down here, right here, view football players. Let's add that to the content. Let's save that real quick. And we want to also make sure we only want to show that on that node page, not on every page. So if we configure that only on listed pages, we'll paste in the node 24. So that'll only show up on that football player page. So that's good. And then if we just reload this page, here we go. So now on the football players page, so here's the team, here's our view. So we have um, Steve Young there and we have Jerry Rice down here. Okay, so obviously that's pretty basic. Obviously just adding a content type, configuring the content type, and then obviously building the view to display the page. But again, I said um, the other two videos here, we're going to get into more technical stuff about how to um, build the correct div structure to display uh, the different types of views. So here, just real quick, before I sign off here, I just want to show you here's our div structure that we built. So here's our class of wrapper, which I gave, the H2s, the P tags, and then the heights, pictures, and weights as well getting displayed. So again, I said we probably all end up changing that a little bit once we start styling it, but this gives you a general idea of at least how to get the foundation set up to get to step two, which will be, again, um, styling the views, so making the views look like this. And then, well, third step, we'll end up uh, running the JavaScript and stuff like that to change the view styles. All right, guys, that's all for today. Um, again, this is uh, Adam with Code Karate. If you have any questions or anything in the meantime, feel free to email me at adam at Code Karate. Otherwise, we'll talk to you later. Thanks, guys.